it's okay to use the command window as a calculator, but when you want to write a program, you should put your code in an M file. These are files with a .m extension and can be scripts or functions. A script is just a sequence of commands that could have been typed directly in the command window, but programs need to be debugged and are usually run more than one time, so it's better to write them as scripts. When writing a new script, I like to start with the line clear all, close all, CLC. This clears all the variables, closes all the figures, and resets the command window. Then whatever you did before won't interfere with what you're doing now. You can remove this first line later if you don't want it in your finished script. MATLAB also has functions. Functions differ from scripts because they have input and output arguments, and all the internal variables are removed from the workspace after the function ends. MATLAB provides us with many useful functions, and many other functions can be downloaded from the MATLAB file exchange. We'll be mainly writing scripts in this course, but we'll use many of the MATLAB functions. Sometimes I'll write a short function inside of a script. These are called local functions. For example, I would define a system of differential equations in a local function. Let's go to MATLAB and write a script and a function. We're in the MATLAB environment. Let's uh, write a new script. Um, we can hit the new script button here, or we can go to new and type and hit the script. Either way it works. We get an untitled script that we'll have to name later. Um, in the first line in the script, I like to put in clear all, close all, CLC. This uh, clears all the variables, closes all the figures, and clears the command window. So it gives you a very clean slate to start with, so you don't interfere with things you've been working on previously. Um, let's use this script to uh, compute the um, golden uh, ratio numbers. So phi is equal to square root of 5 plus 1 divided by 2, semicolon, and little phi is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2, uh, semicolon. So we can uh, run. It asks us um, to give this a name, so we can call this uh, golden ratio, underscore ratio, and save it, and then it will run, and you see in the workspace then it's computed uh, uh, capital Phi and little Phi. Uh, for instance, in the command window now, we can try big Phi times little Phi and get our um, approximate one here, right? Um, this is with round off error, so uh, one minus answer is this, uh, turns out to be minus two times 10 to the minus 16. Okay, so this is a script. Um, you can develop code here in a script. You'll be doing that uh, throughout this course. Hopefully you'll get good at it. Okay, let's exit the script. Let's clear things. So clear the commit. Let's uh, clear all the variables and clear the command window. Um, so let's write a function. I can write a very simple function for you. Um, so in the command window, we know that pi is already pre-assigned in MATLAB, but the Euler number e is. Uh, not pre-assigned. So MATLAB decided not to give us e. It gives us pi but doesn't give us e. 
So to get e, you have to type uh, the exponential function of 1. So let's write a function then that will uh, provide us e in MATLAB. Uh, let's clear everything and uh, start from fresh. So um, there's no uh, tab for function, but if we go to new, we can hit function. And um, we get an untitled 2 here, our second untitled uh, um, uh, script or function. And it gives us a very nice uh, sense of, of what do we need to do to type a function. This is going to be a very simple function, so we're going to have one output, so we don't need the brackets. That will be our E, and we'll have no inputs, but we want to call the function E. So that means when I type E into uh, a script or a command line, it will uh, run this function. Um, I don't need to describe it, so I'll be lazy here. And then um, E, then um, the output I'm assigning to the exponential function of 1. Um, and we only have one output and uh, an end statement. Okay, so that's our function. I can save it. Um, I'm going to save it e.m because it's the name here of the function is e. So we can save it as e.m. Okay. Now with this function, I can use e. So I can type e. It knows what e is now because I'm, it knows that uh, it looks in the current directory and sees an e.m and it runs the function e, and, um, and then it just returns e. So I can do things with e, like log of e then is equal to 1. A very simple function. You'll write many scripts in this course. By the end, I hope you'll be a pretty good MATLAB programmer. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.